I'm out here with the 2022 Mini John Cooper Works hardtop. And excuse me as I clean my lens here just a quick second. And there it is. This is a new 2022 Mini John Cooper Works hardtop. And this is one beautiful little mini. Now you might notice that it has some really nice matte black with chili red stripes. And that's because the dealership decided they wanted to put those on the car. So there they are. And I am still getting some glare on my lens. So stand by. <laughs> there we go. All right. This is the signature trim. No sunroof. So nice slick top there. Chili red roof. Midnight black paint. And we have some other accents they added, like these little red fins on the diffuser. It has the 18-inch circuit spoke wheels, piano black exterior trim, and inside, Dynamica interior, digital dash. It has navigation, manual transmission, which we all know and love very much. And it is just a really, really pretty car. Now, what we call this car around here is we call it a Holy Trinity car, and that is because of the way it is ordered. And if you notice, I'll show it you right here. So, this is the order card. You'll notice the stock number, or you'll notice the option number, and you'll see a little cross at the end of it. Now, it used to be that the sport suspension was a default, but as of 2022 model year, the JCW hardtops and I think convertibles and most of them come with dynamic dampers as standard. But this would be a Holy Trinity car in the fact that it has a sunroof delete, manual transmission, and summer tires. Use that with how you wish. But it is just one beautiful little hardtop here. Piano black badges. I love, I still really love these new headlights. These are amazing. But it is just a really, really really great little car here and i want to hear what you all have to say so we have live chat enabled and you all will get to comment you can add anything you want in here you can ask questions about this car i have full access to this vehicle including starting it so we can do whatever we want out here with this car so that you all get an idea of what's new for 2022 with the jcw hardtop I'm actually loving the fact that they added the diffuser as standard rather than do like a dealer installed option that you could add later. It just gives the car a more aggressive look. Now inside it does have the storage package with height adjustable load floor. So you got that. Nice storage underneath. The carpeted floor mats are down there as well as the little toolkit. And we have one comment already, Futuristic Industries, that looks dope. I would agree, it looks fantastic. It is just such a pretty car. And especially a Midnight Black. I wouldn't mind owning a JCW in Midnight Black. I know that all the press stuff from Mini USA has this thing in Rebel Green Red Roof. A little too Christmassy for me. I think it looks better in Midnight Black than Red Roof. We're going to do that. The new front grille very aggressive it definitely the whole new facelift gives the car a very squared off look and timothy daniel i assume the jcw pro exhaust will work with the new facelift yes i've been told they have a new exhaust that will work with the facelift and it's dealer installed this one just has the regular jcw exhaust on it but you can get the jcw pro exhaust put on these cars These little uh, flourishes of red, though, you'll have to have the dealership add that or your vinyl guy do that. I have the same combination in 2018. What'd you say there? I didn't see that. It just needs the belt line blackout. And yep, the belt line blackout kit is available. This one does not have it installed, but yes, you can get the blackout belt line. It's piano black, so it's a gloss black. But if you want a matte black version, you're going to probably have to just have the vinyled the vinyl kit done on the belt line versus the versus the uh, dealer installed accessory kit one the new led side scuttles i love the pattern here they made they really cleaned up the look they made it very kind of very tidy very crisp very clean arsenic legends mine is a mine has arrived at the garage waiting for the delivery day now that's fantastic what color did you get since we all love unique colors 
Neil Lord Snooty Haha. -ha. The re new rear spoiler definitely looks great, and so does the new front grille. But stick, not sure about the new lower splitter, though it just doesn't look right. Well, the spoiler in question here is the standard same spoiler we've had for 20, since 2015. So that hasn't changed. This is the new rear bumper rear diffuser. Which is definitely different. Rocco says that thing looks the thing is sick. I agree. Love these wheels. It definitely needs the pro suspension, I think. It's a little tall, but you can definitely add that. Any thoughts on the new suspension? Does it feel like the old system with dynamic dampers? This car is not equipped with the dynamic with the magnetic dampers, dynamic dampers. It's equipped with sport suspension, which was something the manager specified from the factory instead of the dynamic dampers, which should now actually come standard on these cars. <coughs> But I've driven cars with dynamic dampers and they're very nice. The only thing I can't figure out now is on the dynamic damper cars, they look identical at the top. So I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between the two. Now this has the B46 engine in it, 228 horsepower, 231 foot pounds of torque. Rocco just said, I saw a JCW convertible 2022 yesterday. It was red and black bonnet stripes. Strange thing you should mention that the yellow one with black bonnet stripes is sitting in the showroom right now. So it's still there. And what we have here, still don't think the new front lower wrap around the splitter looks right for the car. Well, funny thing, there are many people who are on the fence about this. <clears throat> I think the new look, if you look, it squares off the car which is not something that the previous ones did. <clears throat> so it looks more aggressive to me. But I mean, that's just my personal opinion. So I'm, I encourage everyone to have their own difference of opinion with these cars. Not everyone's gonna love them. Not everyone's gonna, gonna, gonna hate them. They're, they're different cars. It's Victor Co. I missed the red and white combination. You can get this in pepper white for red roof and you can get this in chili red for white roof. This one has just happened to be ordered with Midnight Black for Red Roof. So if we go in the interior, like I said, these are the seats I love. I want these seats. I don't have them in my Cooper S. The Dynamica, really pretty. Piano black dash, all the new bells and whistles in here. Manual gearbox, you gotta love the manual gearbox. And I'm gonna get in and start this sucker up because I can. So I have the keys to this car. So we're gonna start this sucker up. There we go. Now we are cooking. And this has the new interface. Does it have navigation? Okay, this is one of the ones that does not have navigation, but they all come with the 8.8 inch screen as standard now. And digital dash with the little John Cooper works up there. Heated steering wheel. Yes, it has heated steering wheel. You want me to try it out? Heated steering wheel is activated. It's 70 something degrees outside, but I activated the heated steering wheel so you'll get to feel that and I can already feel it. That's actually pretty good. Right up here, I can already feel it. So the heated steering wheel is on for Timothy Daniel because he wanted me to check that out. See how hot it gets because I know those heated seats are known to get really hot in these cars. I love the feel of the new steering wheels. They feel thicker. And you know how the previous ones had that seam that kind of ran around the outside? These don't have that. It, real, it feels really nice. Wow. It is warm right here. That feels good, actually. This would be nice for a winter day. Wow. I'm impressed with the heated steering wheel. That is impressive. I like that. How do you like these new grips right here on the steering wheels, though? Isn't that great? And the new button interface. Definitely different. I know not everyone is a fan of it. I like it. 
This is the new uh, lower spoke with the badges. So these all swap out depending on the car. So I was in an electric one that had a plug. It was the electric collection and I was in a sidewall condition that had something for that as well. Am I going to retrofit the digital dash? Caden, I am not planning to do that anytime soon just because I don't want to. It's not something I really need. Um, the steering wheel doesn't look as good as the perforated leather one. Well, this is, I'm gonna turn this off because this is getting hot. It's getting warm, I should say. Steering wheel is deactivated. Um, this is Napa leather, and Napa leather isn't perforated necessarily. It's a much more expensive, higher quality leather. It feels incredibly nice though. I mean, this is very, very nice leather. I mean, I wouldn't, I would love to have the steering wheel. Timothy Daniel, the leather on the wheel looks like the mini yours leather. What do you think? This is this. It looks like Mini Yours leather. That's because it is standard across the line. Every single one of the Minis currently gets this steering wheel with this leather and this stitching. This is standard across the line. The only thing that changes is this little trim plate down here. So every single one of them has this nice new steering wheel with this nice leather and the nice gray stitching. So that is standard across the board. Just in case I can get the exhaust to pop and burble, I'm going to put it in sport mode. And we'll let it sit for a little bit. Oh, that's cool. It even tells you what speed in the area is. Lucky you in 70, 70 Fahrenheit here in Scotland. It's only 45. <laughs> well, it's a little colder. It's a little colder there than it is here. I actually wouldn't mind 45, 50 degrees right now versus 73. It gets a little too warm. So I'm going to let it idle, let it warm up a little bit. Chili red mirror caps. What do you all think of the new headlights? Aren't these incredible with the black insides on them? And that's the other thing. Because they got rid of the actual fog lights and have weather lights now, this JCW has a weather light switch, which is not something they've had in the past. So that's pretty cool. Now, I know a lot of you ask why we have these silly marker lights this is a u.s thing so we get these little marker lights cut into our wheel arches you all over in europe and the uk do not have that and i'm not sure about asia asia might have those asia might not um i don't know who posted that unfortunately i can't read korean though i lived in korea i never learned the language but i appreciate your comment regardless Who would want to take this car home with them? I know I would. Keanu black taillight trims. Is the tiny light on the rear diffuser a fog light or brake light? The tiny light on the rear diffuser is not there on this. Well, hold on. The tiny light on the rear diffuser is not there as I'm getting inhaling smoke here or exhaust. There's not one on this car, I don't think. Um, US market doesn't have that, so it's not there. The stripes, Caden says the stripes look really cool. I agree. They were custom done by the same guy who does all my vinyl. So he did a fantastic job on this. So whoever buys his car is getting some great stripes. Such a clean front grill, I would agree. 39 persons? No, 42. We got 41 now. Forty people. 40 people is pretty good for me. I'm usually, I usually get like 15 to 20 with most of my live streams, but hey, this is a JCW hardtop. We're going to have fun with this. I can't take it out for a drive because it's an inventory car and we want to keep the mileage low on this sucker. But I got the big JCW brakes. I want these. I want these so badly on my car. <laughs> Test drive, Rip Wang. Unfortunately, I can't take it for a test drive because, like I just said, it is a brand new car on the lot. Um, if the sales manager had several of these cars, he would let me take one out for spin. Unfortunately, this is the only one here, so we can't do that. He's getting other JCWs. He's planning to get in. He's getting in. I'm not sure what color the body is, but I know it has a multi-tone roof. He's getting in a JCW Clubman in a couple in a couple of weeks or about a month, something like that. 
Well, Dubs B, if you want this, you could have it for, um, I think it's 38.5. Could they make an eight-speed manual? I don't know. You might have to talk to BMW about that. But this is the six-speed manual, which I don't think you need anything more than that, really. I'm going to leave the key here just because the car doesn't like me when I take the key out of it. Just got mine and I love it. White, silver, and red roof. Six-speed, three-door hatch. Good choice. White, silver for red roof. My friend uh, Jason has a white, silver car for red roof. I think I've let it warmed up long enough that we can try to see if we can hear the exhaust burble. I don't know. Does this sound... It sounds good. I've been told that the 2022s are a little bit, a little bit more muted than the previous gens. Any change in zero to 60 for the manual? No changes are, there have been no changes in horsepower or mileage for the, for the uh, 2022 model year. Um, Dubs, Dubs B, $38,500, I am in Kansas. And the sales manager here will work with you to ship if you wanted to ship it somewhere else in the continental US. Now, if you're outside the US, unfortunately we can't help you, but he is willing to work with you to Get, ship it to your location if you want this car. Uh, Caden, I just turned 16, and because of your channel, I bought a 2013 Countryman S. That's a fantastic car. Let test drive. Gary, unfortunately, like I just said, I can't take it for a test drive because it is a inventory car, and it is the only one on the lot. I mean, I'd love to, trust me. But can't really do that. What I can do is I can see if I can get it to make some burbles here. Well, we didn't get any burbles. Guess I didn't let it idle long enough. Does it have Harman Kardon? Yes, it does. This has Harman Kardon. There we go. So we got some good sound coming out of it. Who loves these seats as much as I do? Are these great? Now, what I love about them that my Cooper S does not have is it holds you a little higher up on the side. Um, Rip Wang, um, all modern minis do not have CD players. They have USB ports, unfortunately. So you're a little out of luck on the CD player. How exactly do the integrated fog lights work? Um, good question. I'd like to know exactly how they work as well. They only work when the car's headlights are in automatic mode, as you'll see when I push the button. Only with switch light in automatic position. I've done this, and I don't know exactly the difference. Uh, Dubs B, they did decrease the burbleage because of U EU regulations, I think. I'm agreeing with you on that. I don't know if that was the same effect in the U.S. market, but I could be wrong. What I do know is that in the U.S. market, the Cooper S still has 189 horsepower, whereas I know in the U.K. and the EU, they dropped it to 178. So we are in sport mode, as you can see, so the gauges are all in red. I'm going to put this car, who wants to get some, let's see, we want to do some display, is that right here? I want to change the displays to center console, oh, color scheme, hold on. We got lounge, sport, and depending on driving mode. I want to put it in center instrument, basic display, there we go. So we have engine speed right now. I could turn it into speed, and it changes that, or I could put it into ambient lighting. There we go. So there is a toggle switch right here, pardon for the strobe. There's a toggle switch right there. These are all LED lighting, apparently. So if you flip that toggle, it changes colors. Nice blue. Nice red, orange. And if you hold it long enough, wait for the blink. And we are in what I call disco mode, where it just keeps cycling through colors. And that is rather entertaining to me. <laughs> I like that. There's also the LED lighting that you can kind of see up there under the dash. See that? So there's LED right there, and there's LED lighting under the door usually right here if it's lit up. 
Currently have a 2018 JCW red roof, white, silver body. Definitely thinking of buying the new JCW, probably in rebel green with red roof this time around. Good choice. I mean, the rebel green doesn't look terrible. I like the rebel green. I just think if you're going to do rebel green, you want to do a white roof. It would have more of a classic kind of British racing car look to me. I think the rebel green for red roof is a little over the top, but I mean, they look fantastic, don't they? And this new facelift looks amazing. It really does look good. And Dubs B says it's well worth, well worth it. So definitely worth it to go with the, to upgrade to the newer cars. Love the Union Jack taillights so much I had to install them on my car. Now this has park distance, park distance control at the back because it has a rear view camera not at the front so this this is a manual this is a manual transmission car so it does not have the uh, the um, self-parking and the adaptive cruise control and so forth mini dash camera install I've thought about that I will not be doing that on my car just because it seems like a little excessive as far as money but it's a cool car it's a cool option nonetheless what do y'all think of the new dash trims where they run right over the over the vents as opposed to where it's just butt right up to the vent? Much cleaner look, I'd say. Also, does anyone else see what I see here? The uh, vents that kind of look like GP wheels? Or is that just me? Am I the only one that sees that? They kind of look like the GP wheels to me. Neil says the, definitely tr the dash trim definitely looks better. I agree. Let's see how... How's the seating in the back? I have the seat in my driving position. So let's see if I can get back there comfortably. There we go. And I'm in. And I'm now sitting in the back seat. Does this have 306 horsepower? No, it does not. This is a U.S. market JCW hardtop. The GP has 306. The JCW Clubman has 306. And the JCW Countryman has 306. The regular hardtop does not have 306. Melissa wants to just needs to win the lottery to buy one of these. Um, you could lease one of these relatively cheap, actually. And Dub says, I think they did this to match with the dashes. I think they did this to match the Clubman and Countryman dashes, save cost. Um, if they were going to save cost, they would include, they would actually use the same dashes. That actually is designed just for the hardtop and convertible. It won't fit in the other cars. The new dash trim does mean you can no longer install the passenger display. That is true. You can no longer put in the past that passenger display that you mentioned. I know exactly which one you're talking about. It also means you can't put in the... Um, the um what's that thing the secret compartment anymore oh i am now going to attempt to climb out of the back seat of this car there is no carbon in carbon inside interior um no carbon in this car you can add carbon fiber trim if you want and it will be an option i'm sure i'm sure companies are going to have those pieces so you can do carbon fiber interior trim and they also have carbon fiber mirror caps as an option or as an accessory. They have carbon fiber hood scoops. So you'll be able to get all that stuff. Someone asked me the other day about the uh, armrest here. This one does not have a phone holder in the armrest, but some of them do. Ant Bear 13, I have a 2021 Countryman JCW and love it. I got to drive the normal Mini as a loaner when I had it serviced and would love the 306 horsepower engine in the normal car. New dash, yep. Ant Bear, new dash. The new digital dash. New dash surfaces, too. Now... I was saying I love these seats, you, and I said you can't get them in a Cooper S or a Cooper. UK market, European market, you actually can get these seats in the Cooper and Cooper S Sport trims, which is not something you can do in the US market, unfortunately. But they are really great seats in the JCW, and there are seating surfaces in the regular Cooper and Cooper S that I highly recommend aside from the JCW seats. So 
there's other seats out there that I would definitely recommend if you really wanted those. Victor Co. Is it possible to remove the armrest? I find it blocks my elbow when I change gears. What I do when I drive, because I have the armrest, is I flip it up and leave it out of the way. Yes, you can remove the armrest, but you have to take these pins. There's little pins right there. You have to pop those out, unscrew that, and then there's two bolts front and rear after you pull off these trim pieces on right here. And you can remove the center armrest, but it leaves in a gaping hole. And I don't recommend doing that. But if you just want it out of the way so you can drive and shift your gears, you just flip it up and it does the job just fine. And as Neil just said, the armrest will fold backwards. They need to offer the big motor in the Cooper. Well, if they offer the big motor in the Cooper, it would just be a Cooper, it would just be a JCW, wouldn't it? There's a wireless charger for phone. Um, I think there's an optional wireless charger. I don't know if it's necessarily in this, if available right now, but I think some of them do have a wireless charger and it would be in the center console, I guess. Now, I know a lot of you out there love the love the sunroof. How do you like it with no sunroof? This is a complete slick top. Low weight. Low center of gravity with no with no sunroof. I mean, I have a sunroof on my car, but that's only because I bought it used. If I bought it new, I probably would have opted for no sunroof. This also gives this also gives you a great opportunity for vinyl. Put big mini logo on the top. You could put JCW letters on the top. You could do all sorts of crazy things. You could do a skull and crossbones if you really wanted to. Pretty much anything you really wanted. And as you see, the bond, these wonderful bond stripes coming down. The manager had them had the vinyl guy install matte black with chili red pins going all the way down the front. Down that beautiful new front end. I really like this new grill. I know not everybody does. I think it looks amazing. It hides that pedestrian bumper incredibly well. See? And no chin anymore, so the side profile looks a little bit more shorter. And I know I said that terrible grammar, but much looks much shorter, I should say. If I can get to, uh, we've let it warm up enough. I can see if I can get it to burble, but it's not broken in yet, so maybe. We have a sport on. No burble. Hmm. Well, is it fast? Is it fast? You tell me. Yes, it's fast. The hard top, the JCW hardtops are incredibly fast. I think they're very fast. I've actually gone around a corner in another Mini so fast once that this cover here for the SOS button actually popped loose because the car thought it was rolling over. <laughs> Now, someone asked me, hold on, I'm going to get to that. Do the JCWs come with the exhaust remote anymore? They do not come standard with that. That is an optional ex, optional dealer installed accessory you can have added after the fact. Rev it to 5,000 for the snap crackle. I really don't want to do that because it's not a, it's a sold car. It's not a sold car. It's an inventory car and it's not been broken in yet. As you can see, it has 35 miles. I really don't want to rev it that high right now. Um, can we install JCW exhaust kits on these models? Yes, you can install JCW exhaust on the models. Is it HUD? Is HUD? It does not have head-up display. But, and I've noticed this, with the new digital dash, you really don't need the head-up display as much with this, with this speedometer now. It's really, it is a large enough number that it's really not that bad. 
So I don't th think it's necessary. I've also had someone mention they noticed it looked a little hazy on the speedometer. That's because if you look, there's no hood over the top like a typical gauge or like a typical dash would be. So because it's a flat surface, they made it so that it would reflect a little bit of the sunlight away so that you can still read everything clearly. So if I come all the way back to where I'm where my eyes actually are, everything looks perfectly clear. Does the digital dash show navigation information? It would if it had navigation. This one does not have navigation on it. But you can add it when you order your car. This one's not a car equipped with navigation. Has everything else, mini connected, notifications, news, weather. Okay, no internet connection right now. This is basically, basing, oh, there we go. So there we go. There's our current weather forecast. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. That's always sounds pleasant. But no, this one doesn't have navigation at the moment, or unfortunately. Yes, you can still get head-up display as an option. This one just didn't have that option. But yes, you can still get it as an option. Um, the digital dash won't show navigation information. The head-up display will. To break in this car, you have to go to about, I think it's 1,500 miles. Yeah, I got it up to that and it didn't do anything. Apple CarPlay is part of navigation. Yeah, so um, to get this car to bro broken in, you have to get up to about 1,500 miles or so before it breaks in. Um, I think that's probably why the pops and burbles aren't there as, as well. And as Neil just said, yes, 1,500 to 20 to 2,000 miles. So it does not ha it's not fully broken in yet, and I really don't want to – I shouldn't have even gone up to that height as I did with the RPMs. But Apple, as far as Apple CarPlay, it's not equipped on this car unless you have navigation. Does it have an option to turn off passenger AC? Um, well, I mean, if you, uh, the answer is really no. Most cars don't have that option. I mean, you can come up here and shut the vents, and then you won't, and you won't have AC over there. Like, there's no real AC over here right now because the vents are closed. Heated seats. It's a nice car. I love the new flat surface right here. See? They just really tidied up everything in this car. Now did my now did the coloring stop on pink? Oh, I switched it out of sport mode, that's why. There we go. Now it's cycling through the colors. Um, as far as I remember reading, I was told that you don't want to get the horse, you don't want to redline it until it's broken in, until about 1,500, 2,000 miles. And you want to keep it under 100 up until about that point. Then after that, you can do whatever the heck you want. Though just to, just to be fair, I don't condone I don't condone speeding, but um, that's just me. But um, what was the other question? My 2021 JCW is now at 2,500 miles and still no burbles and no filter on the exhaust either. So be warned. Well, I had a JCW that didn't have any pops and burbles. It was 2008, and I love the car, so I'm not too concerned about it. You can add upgraded exhaust to these cars that would give you some other stuff and fairly easily let's see if you can hear it can you hear that I don't know if you could hear could hear it more piano black all around the dashboard. Don't like it. You can actually get different dash trim. This one is equipped with piano black. You can get the fiber alloy in here. And I think there's one other color that you can get for the dash. So you don't have to have tons of piano black in the car if you don't want it. 
Of course, no one who owns a JCW wouldn't go, ever go over the speed limit. This is true. I'm not going to say that you don't. I'm saying you shouldn't. And if you do, you didn't hear from me. I'm going to turn this sucker off. Take the key with me. I really like it though. I think they're amazing. Can we see the trunk? Yes, you can see the trunk. I will do that for you. There's the trunk. There's the load floor. There's some storage down there. It is height adjustable, so you can bring it up to one other level. And when you bring it up to the other level, the seats fold flat. And another cool thing is when you bring this floor up to this level, to the higher level, you can actually stow the parcel shelf here below that load floor. So you'll actually have everything in the car still. Great system, really. UK or UK does have or the US does have a button parking brake only on automatic transmission DCT transmission vehicles and only on electric minis and models equipped with the with the adaptive cruise control of stop and go. So if you have a electronic parking brake with a manual transmission, that's a new one on me because we don't have that here in the US. Fold this back down. There we go. I'm going to flip the seat back up. There we go. Interesting thing I noticed about this. Auto only has an electronic member. All right, I noticed something about this. So someone pointed this out on a YouTube video or on Facebook the other day. I'm not quite sure... Does the electronic parking brake version have auto hold? I'm not sure on that. Um, someone pointed this out to me the other day and I'm not sure what the point of this is. See this little, see this thing here? So you're supposed to be able to flip this up and then flip the seat up and lock it into place and it makes it vertical. Now, if I'm holding cargo back here and no passengers, I usually just take the seats flip it down and leave them. So I really don't know the point of this piece of metal. To get more trunk space, that's it. But wouldn't folding the seats flat do the same thing? It's a little windy, Doug. All right, we're gonna flip that back down and I'm going to bring the seat back up. And there we go. Or dealer information who can order who can install JCW Pro Exhaust. Um, I'm not sure where you're where you're located at, but the dealership should be able to get the JCW Pro Exhaust for these cars. It's possible that they may not be available yet for the 2022s. Maybe that's it. But I was told that they are available and that they can be installed. Now, if I'm wrong on that, I apologize. But I'm pretty sure that you can get them right now. And it's possible that your dealership may just be one of the dealerships out there that just doesn't want to do anything because there are dealerships out there that do that. There's a dealership I was told about out in California that will not do an alignment on a Mini that's been lowered and has aftermarket wheels, which is ridiculous. But I think it has to do with the fact that some dealerships are not equipped. You're in Illinois, but I can... Okay, you're in Illinois. If you wanted to come to Barron Mini, you could find out if you can get pro. If you want to find out if you can get a pro exhaust for your newer JCW, um, contact 913-671-1337. That is the sales manager here, and ask him about the JCW pro exhaust. Tell him what car you're looking for it for. If he can get it in, he will do it. 
and work with you and then you just come in from wherever you are within the within the area if you're obviously like several dozen states away or it's a little too far but illinois yeah you could drive out here from illinois if you really wanted to and there's my car <laughs> How's it sound? <laughs> I like it, what do you think? Uh, your tips are uh, coming from Germany, so they're gonna be Okay. Really? So I'm driving around with no tips for the time being? Which is fine because it's more race car. Okay. We'll just get the tips on when they arrive. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Unless you want to pay uh, $460 for the uh, carbon fiber lens. I'd rather not. <laughs> But Pro Exhaust fits, but no longer utilizes the electronic park parts. That I don't see any caps for how tow hooks on the bumper. Um, caps for the tow hooks. Right here. This is one, and you can pop it off of a key. Is there another one on the other side? No, there's not. And then the other one is right here for the tow hook. So you pop that loose and you can put the tow hook in as well. All right, well, hey, everybody. I'm going to let you all go. It's been about 41 minutes here, but I appreciate you all coming out for this live stream. Not exactly the most convenient when it's a little windy out, but I appreciate you being out here. I hope you all really enjoy this car because I think it's amazing. But before I let you go, I'm going to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Check out my playlists on the JCW Hardtop. I have tons of stuff on the JCW. But as always, I'm just going to remind you all before I let you go that life is too short to drive a boring car. So um, drive a Mini, right? We're going to drive a Mini. I'll see you all in the next video. And you never know when I'm going to do another live stream. So come back anytime and I'll be happy to chat with you all again. But it's been good talking with you.